Kerry, this is a plate reading. I am your Monday um, booktuber, is what we're apparently called. Um, today I'm going to talk about what books I've read already this year. Um, and so the main one I'm going to talk about is The Hunger Games. Um, being about 18 months behind everybody else, I did actually read this before I went to see the film. Um, still haven't actually seen the film, because um, I was on a year abroad last year, and so I'm a little bit behind on most things like that. Um, I didn't really get the hype until I started reading it. It was really like kind of a slow starter, I think, because there was so much description, which became necessary, especially towards the conclusion um, that the book came to at the end. Um, but it was a really slow starter, um, and so it took me a long time to actually get to that point where I couldn't put it down. Once I did get to that point, however, I pretty much read the second part and the third part in two goes, um, and I couldn't put it down, and I had, like stayed up all night to finish it. Um, some aspects of the writing did not overly impress me um, in the way that like J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter often use like Latin and etymology to come up with words for things that don't necessarily exist in reality. Um, I found that Collins kind of used kind of more like childish ways um, of calling things. Like the most ex obvious example of that I can think of is the Tracker Jacker. Um, however, that does kind of fit. Um, if you think of the kind of situation that the people of District 12, where the main character Katniss is from, it does kind of make sense. Um, and it is kind of the attachment that we get for Katniss and the other characters in the book that what is, that is what kept me reading. Um, towards the end, um, I think my favourite aspect of the whole book is um, Katniss's relationship with Rue. Um, I think that that is kind of really relevant and integral to this book as much as um, it may not seem to be I think as in the three as a trilogy and also before I read this I didn't realise why they would need a trilogy um, but then there are a lot of things that are kind of opened up um, towards the end of this book more so that then kind of lead into why um, a trilogy is required so I am really looking forward to reading um, Mockingjay the second one um, although I've got so much on my to read list I don't think that's going to happen any time soon um, another book that I'm currently reading that I have not yet finished is Voyage au bout de la nuit by Louis Ferdinand Céline. Um, I'm reading this for my university degree. Um, I study French alongside Spanish and Portuguese. Um, however, um, I'm not going to finish this in time to write my essay. In fact, I've actually written my essay on it being only that far through the book. However, I do want to persevere with it and finish it at some point in time. And so I'll give a full review of that when I get to that point. And another book that I just started reading after buying it today is Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. Um, this is definitely something I wouldn't recommend for younger readers. I can say that reading 20 pages of the introduction. Um, however, I do think it's really important um, that we read more classics like this with the kind of sexual themes um, because they were so key um, to kind of that time when it was written in the um, 1910s, I think, um, but also kind of its role that it played in like the 1963 sexual revolution um, in the West, and it opens up all kinds of issues to do with sexuality and marriage and censorship and things. Um, so I really think that that is a key read. If you're interested in any of those issues, um, I'm going to be back here in a fortnight. Um, there will be somebody else with a video at some point later this week. Thank you very much for everybody who's already subscribed. And that's a bye from me.